So I'm in the bathroom just thinking, what am I going to do? Like, I can't let her know that I peed in her bed, bro. Like, I literally peed in her bed. What's up, everybody? It's Connor, and today I'm back with a new video. Finally, oh my gosh, I don't know what to post, everybody. But I was thinking today, I was like, what should I post? Challenge videos. What can I do? A story time, and a story time it is. So this video is going to be the time when I peed the bed sleeping next to Carly. But before this video gets started, everybody smash the like button right now. I'm not going to tell you to subscribe yet, because if you don't like me, why would you subscribe? So let's get into this story. So this is about three months into us dating, and back then, I used to drive from my house in Indiana to Canada and back all the time. It's a three and a half hour drive. So I used to visit her weeks at a time and we weren't awkward, but we weren't as comfortable as we are now, obviously. So it was still like we were in that honeymoon dating stage where we used to give each other kisses all the time and cuddle and be next to each other all the time. I'm guessing it was like November, maybe December, early December, but I drove down and I I think it was one of the last nights I was gonna get a be with her, so we thought, why not, you know, turn up, you know, drink some alcohol, right? And I already have a bladder problem as it is. I go to the bathroom like three times every 10 minutes. If I drink a bottle of water, I have to go pee within the next five minutes. It's really bad. So when people drink alcohol, it makes it even worse. That's why they say don't break the seal. If you're drinking, don't go pee until so you really have to go. We were drinking, having a great old time, watching movies, laughing, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. And I'm so glad we weren't sleeping on our couch that night because she had a really comfortable couch that sometimes we fell asleep on. And if I would have peed on that, it would have been over. So she has her living room. We were on the couch, cuddling, watching a movie right before bed. And then we both got up, went to her bed, and we were done for the night. We were about to go to sleep. And when you're drinking, you just pass out. So I didn't go to the bathroom before bed. Usually I go to the bathroom after I brush my teeth. I didn't brush my teeth either. I know, I'm nasty. I just wanted to go to bed. So we both went to bed, fell right asleep right when we hit the bed. At like five in the morning, I wake up. I usually sweat in my sleep because I'm a pretty deep sleeper and I don't move at all and I usually sweat a lot. So I'm like, oh my gosh, did I pee the bed or am I sweating? So I get up as quiet as I can to make sure I get out of the bed and then I lean over and like sniff where I was and it smelled like pee. And sometimes sweat can smell like pee like it's just the nastiness and it just smells bad. I went to the bathroom really quietly, shut the door and I looked down and my boxers were freaking wet, bro. I didn't start peeing a lot really because I think it was like in the middle of a dream or something and I just started peeing and then I stopped and I woke up her bed had like this much pee on it and I'm like freaking out bro what do I do she's in the bed so I can't like take the sheets off and wash them before she wakes up or something and her stepmom already has a bunch of laundry in the washer and she has a load in the dryer so I can't do anything about it so I'm in the bathroom just thinking what am I gonna do like I can't let her know that I peed in her bed bro like I literally peed in her bed so I get some Febreze from under the sink and I go over it to the spot and I lift it up and I spray the Febreze right on the bed, you know, like spread a little bit. And she turns over, but she's like sleeping still. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get in bed. So I get in bed, I'm laying on top of my pee and I'm just sitting there, I cannot sleep. It's five in the morning, I'm so tired. So in like five minutes, I get back up again because I didn't want her to wake up. And I move the fan close and I just have it right on the spot so it can dry. I don't know what that's gonna do, but it's gonna dry the wetness. It was barely wet, it just was the smell I was worried about. So I was trying to like cover the smell. I got up when the fan was on it and I left the room. I was thinking, what am I gonna do? I grabbed like three of my colognes and I spray a little spray on it and then I lay back down on top of it. I go back to sleep peacefully. That's so nasty. I was sleeping on my pee. But then she wakes up first. She's out sitting on the couch. I get up. I go out there and like I cover up my side so because there was still a little like shadow of dark because of the pee. And I'm just trying to distract her not to go in there because it smells still and I'm like oh my gosh she's gonna find out. So like she went up to make breakfast and I took one of the sheets off because she has a waterproof pad because she had a bladder infection one time and I think she put it on just in case she peed the bed. But I was the one that peed the bed. So I took the first sheet off and the second one off and I just laid the blanket on it so she didn't know. And I put it in the washer. Her stepmom had already changed it out so I put it in the washer. And she came down and she caught me in the act and she's like, what are you doing? Um, your sheets are dirty. And she's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, they just smell weird. So I thought I'd wash them. <laughs> But the way that she found out is that I had my underwear and shorts also in with the sheet. She's like, why are you washing your underwear and shorts? I'm like, um... 
So my excuse was in the dream that I had a dream that I was about to take a pee and I just started peeing and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I literally stood up on my knees and I started peeing and I thought I was peeing, but I did it on your bed. And to this day, I'm still very embarrassed that I peed in my girlfriend's bed and she found out. So guys, that is it for my story time. Let me know down below if you have any stories similar to that or any embarrassing stories. Now I'll let you guys subscribe if you want and be sure to click that bell if you do to be notified next time I post. I'm going to start Start posting more I say this every video I'm gonna start posting more for you guys be sure to follow my social medias they're all down here throughout the whole video so if you didn't get a chance there they are right now I'll see you guys in the next video thank you all for watching and peace out